Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to add user in Nordish course for WooCommerce orders. So here my objective is that every time a user has purchased a particular product from WooCommerce, let's say it is an online course. So the moment this new order is created in WooCommerce, then the user who has created this new order should automatically be added to the same course in Nordish, which is an online course platform. Now to do this, we will have to integrate WooCommerce and Nordish and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be WooCommerce and my action application will be Nordish. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is a dashboard of Pabli Connect software and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in and if you are a new user, then you will have to sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks. Now, once you reach the dashboard, on the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Click on this. This dialog box has appeared and here you have to name your workflow. You can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective, which is to add user in Nordish course for WooCommerce order. Now here I'm going to click on create. As we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you swipe your card and the payment is made, then you get an automated response on SMS about the amount debited. How does that happen? So for such a use case, your trigger will be the payment gateway and your action application can be any application with the help of which you can send this SMS. Now let's come to our use case. So here my trigger will be WooCommerce. Let's click on this. And the trigger event here will be new order created. So every time a new order is created for a particular product in WooCommerce, then only this workflow is going to run. Now here you can see we have received this webhook URL. Now this URL is going to act as a bridge for connecting WooCommerce and Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to copy this webhook URL and once copied, we have to follow the following steps. Now I already have logged into my WooCommerce account. Let me take you there. Now here we have to go to settings. Now within settings, we have to go to advanced and here we are going to go to webhooks. So here you can see these are the webhooks already added. Now I'm going to click on add webhook and now here I'm going to name this. So let's say we are going to name it as Nourish webhook and next is status. So the status is going to be active. What is the topic? So I'm going to create an order. So order created delivery URL. So this URL that we had just received, I'm going to copy this here. Then we have the secret and API version. Now the API version has to be the latest one. Now I'm going to click on save webhook. And as we do that here, we can see that our webhook has been updated successfully. Once this is done, so here I'm going to recapture webhook response. Let's click on yes. And here we can see that now we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. And we can understand that Pabli Connect and WooCommerce are properly integrated. For this, I'm going to create an order. So let's go to WooCommerce once again. Here I'm going to go to the store. Now within the store, you can see there are different products already. Now let's say that I want to buy this product. The name is advanced PHP product. So I'm going to click add to cart. Once this is done, proceed to checkout. Now here we have to fill in the details. Let's say the first name here is smart. The last name here is dummy one, two, three. Then we have the name of the company, which is Pabli connect. Then we have the country, which is India. Then we have the address. So here I'm going to add a random address. So let's say this is random apartment. City is random city. The state is Madhya Pradesh. This is the pin code. Here we have the mobile number. And now here I'm going to change the email address and it is going to be smart dummy123 at pablitudes.com. 
Now, once this is done, here we have our order details and now I'm going to click on place order. Here we can see that our account has been charged and the transaction is successful. Once this is done, taking you back to Pabli Connect, let's see if we have received the response here. And here we can see we have received the response. Let's check this. So here we have the name of our product. And then as I take you down here, we have the address. This here is the first name. Then we have the last name. This here is the name of the company. This is payment URL. This is the order key. Then we have the amount, the total amount paid. Again, we have the name of the course. Now, once I have received this information, what is my objective? So this person who has just made the payment and purchased this particular product, which is advanced PHP, I want this person to be enrolled in the same course in Nourish. So let me show you my Nourish account. So this here is my Nourish account. Let's go to courses and in and here you can see that advanced PHP, this particular course has been created. Now that user should be enrolled in this course. But before I do that, I need to make sure that only those people who have purchased advanced PHP should be enrolled in this course. For this, I'm going to choose my next application, which is a feature by Pabli known as filter. So what does filter do? It allows to execute the workflow only when the set conditions are fulfilled. So what do I want here? So you can see here I'm going to select the label. Let's go to the previous step. And here I'm going to look for advanced PHP. So you can see this here is the line items name. So I'm going to select this. Now if this name is equal to let's go up and here I'm going to check the name. This here is the name of my course. I'm going to copy this. If this label is equal to this value, then only the workflow should continue. Here, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that, here we can see that the status is shown as a success. Why? Because the person has just bought the same course. And once the status is a success, finally, I'm going to add my final action step, which is knowledge application. Let's click on this. And the action event here will be to add user to course. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect wants to connect with Nordish account. For this, I'm going to select add new connection. And now to set up this connection, we need the website URL and the API key. And how can we receive this? For this, first we have to log into our Nordish account. We already have done that. So I'm going to take you there. Now here we have settings. Within settings, we have integrations. And within integrations, we have the tab Pabli Connect. Click on this. Now, this here is the website URL. I'm going to copy this and paste the same here. Next, we need is the API key. So the API key is Pabli Connect key. So I'm going to copy this and paste the same here. Let's click on save to set up this connection. And we can see that Nordish and Pabli Connect are now connected. Once this connection is set, now here we have to fill in this information. First of all, the name. So I'm going to click on this. You can see the previous steps here. Let's go to step one. And as I scroll down, so here you can see that we have the name. So this is the first name. I'm going to click on this. Give a space, go back here. Here I'm going to find the last name. So this here is the last name. So here we have got the name. And the method with which I have received the name here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time your workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written the same name manually, then even when there was a new order placed, when my workflow was running in real time and I had received some new response, it wouldn't have taken the new name. Instead, it would have taken the same manually written data. So to avoid that, we map the information. Next, we have to map the email. So let's do that. Here that is. Then we have send create password email. Now, if you don't want to send the email, then you have to write zero. And if you want to send the email, you have to write one. So here I have written one. Then we want the course ID. So going back to Nordish, let's go to courses. Here we have advanced PHP. Let's click on this. Now you can see in the address by it is written course ID is equal to. So after equal to this here is our course ID copied and pasted. Once this is done, let's click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the response that the application has been processed. Let me take you to Nordish. And now here I am going to quickly refresh this page. Once done, let's see. 
if this particular person has been added here in this course. And here we can see that yes, smart dummy 1, 2, 3, this particular person has been added. So this means that our integration here is a complete success. Let's check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to WooCommerce and let's go to the store once again. And here I'm going to again buy the same advanced PHP course. Then here I'm going to proceed to check out. Here we have to fill in the details. Let's say this time the first name is test. The last name is dummy987. Then here is the name of the company. Let the address be same. Let's change the email address. And here it is going to be test at pablitudes.com. Now I'm going to click on place order. And as we do that, here we can see that the order has been placed. These are the details. So the moment this order has been placed and since the course is advanced PHP, so now this particular user who has just made the payment should be enrolled as a new subscriber in Nourish. Let's go and check the same. So here I'm in Nourish account. And now I'm going to take you back to courses and quickly refresh this page. And once we have refreshed this page, going back to advanced PHP course. And yes, here we can see that this particular user has been added here. So this means our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Public Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger was WooCommerce where the event was new order created. So here the person has purchased a particular course. Then we have chosen a feature by Pabli which was filter so that the workflow continues only when the specific product has been purchased. And finally, our action application was Nourish where the event was to add user to that specific course. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.